Project, and the presenter is László Jobbát, who is the Managing Director of the Digital Success Program of Hungary. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm not going to talk about the digital infrastructure, and uh, I'm not going to talk about the esports. Uh, yes, uh, my title is quite generic. Please uh, raise your hands if you know the digital success program. My colleagues raised their hands. <laughs> and who knows what it is? What is the digital success program? Uh, I'm trying to change this, and uh, then I will tell you what I'm doing here and why I don't have a presentation. I'm not going to talk about digital infrastructure, but I'm going to talk about horses. Uh, this is my fifth conference uh, this week, and uh, in all of the five um, um, conferences I managed to do that. Uh, this program has been set up in 2015, and we try to develop the digital competencies of the population, and we try to mitigate the uh, damaging effects of uh, the digital uh, structure or the digital world. Uh, so uh, today I have already performed at a conference um, about this, but I don't want to uh, reiterate myself. We try to uh, deal with uh, the uh, the implementation of the 5G network. Uh, we try to deal with child protection. Uh, in the morning, uh, the Deputy State Secretary opened this conference, and he is our boss. And uh, in connection with child protection, one of my colleagues is uh, going to talk about uh, the, the, the topic of child protection. I am a gamer, I am a hardcore, t well, I am a casual gamer, but if I had more time, I would be a hardcore gamer. I collect old game and I have Imperium Galactica 2, and uh, unfortunately I cannot play with it because I don't have a PC which has a CD player, uh, so thanks God it's available online. I would like to start by a quotation, War Never Changes, this is the uh, quote, what, where is it from, War Never Changes, yes it's from Fallout, War Never Changes. I checked out on Wikipedia uh, when eSport started, is it a sport, is it not a sport, when did it start, eSport is uh, according to Wikipedia, is, uh, is, um, was started in around 1970 because the first eSport competition was organized in 1972. A big part of my collection um, is at home at the moment, uh, but I brought along some of them. So. This is a Philips video pack cassette from uh, 1978. So back then, people did esports. Uh, and now I can connect to digital infrastructure uh, because they took uh, their pieces over to their friends, uh, they took some cables, and they sat next to each other and they watched each other while playing or they played together. So these were uh, the sports events, game, game events. This is from 1994, FIFA International Soccer. This is one of the most uh, popular esports uh, games. Uh, 26 years uh, it's been there on the market and there's a demand for it and it is increasing. So, 40 years ago, eSport was about uh, that when you wanted to play with each other, you had to be, be at the same place. We had a so-called Smart City conference not long ago, 
And yesterday I was at another conference and there they told me that a city is the collection of uh, interactions. Uh, and cities were established because people moved together uh, because they wanted to, to buy things from each other, they wanted to have transactions, they wanted to have programs together. So they, that's why they moved close to each other. However, today, what's the situation? I would like to buy a video game, then I take my smartphone and I order it and then the postman brings it. If I want to play with someone or want to talk to someone, Discord and other platforms are used. So why do we need the cities at all today? And uh, I will leave this question open. I'm not going to provide an answer because I'm not applying for the Nobel Peace Prize. But I think that this is food for thought, this question. As time uh, goes, technology develops. And this is just something interesting. This is Wolf Stern 3D from 1992. And uh, back then, I don't know whether you can see it, it's a Nintendo and it's white. So in 2006, there was a point when we had PlayStation 2, it had online function, functions, Xbox had online functions. So this was a point around 2005 or six. It was not like I took my PC and I went over to my friend and together they, we, uh, we played. That was the point when uh, people started to play online. And um, this uh, game was sold in 100 million uh, copies and it made casual cool. And that was the point when the so-called, not only the nerds played, but uh, also uh, moms started to play. Even grandmas started to play on this. And, and uh, gamers, uh, the number of gamers exploded. So we reached that uh, threshold, that is the threshold became lower and from that point it was unstoppable so we didn't want to buy stronger computers to take men to the moon or to improve the hadron colliders uh, it was because governments and uh, not only because of uh, because the government wanted to have a bigger database but also because games wanted to become more realistic faster etc etc so this was the point when the games stepped over a maturity point and uh, one of the big e uh, first big esports uh, events, the it was called Asteroids. Uh, it had uh, uh, a first the first esport event, and if uh, someone in their sixties went there, and they told them, "Now I'm uh, shooting asteroids." Uh, uh, and they could only see a black screen with white points on it. And now this is the asteroids, wow. So people started to feel that they would like to have more. And from that point on, you could tell that this is a car on the screen and this is the brand of the car. And so, so things became more recognizable thanks to the more improved graphics. And I think this was the dawn of eSports. The threshold goes down at the moment. So I want to play. It was just, it's just, a, it's just a press of a button. Uh, if I would like to buy a game, it's very easy to buy it online. If I want to talk with someone, uh, I just press Discord. Then immediately on 60 channels, you will receive the information. And by the way, it has its dangers because of uh, child protection reasons, and my colleague will talk about that. Yes, and I have to talk about horses. Unfortunately, the what is Gizmondo? Do you know what Gizmondo is? Unfortunately, it's not here. It was the least successful console of the world. 
Uh, and it's, uh, it was very unpopular and there's a racing horse. So Gizmondo was a game console in 2004. And um, the man who created it bought a, a racing horse and the racing horse uh, was called Gizmondo. And uh, the horse also won some money, so the investment was good. But afterwards, they had to shoot the horse after one, one um, race because it uh, f fell ill. So in 2004, this game was created with this horse as a, uh, the, uh, the protagonist. And it had software boards, uh, music board, uh, and uh, different functions. And there were two um, versions. One of them included uh, uh, advertisements, and that's why it was cheaper. It was sold uh, in Scandinavia, and that, that's where I uh, bought it from as well. And. Um, why do I talk about it? This is the next game. Do you see what that is? You could hear the name. This is not a game. This is an entertaining product which brought six billion dollars since 2003. Uh, it, it was a very big box office hit and uh, it brought the most revenues uh, in the world uh, out of uh, these uh, games. Why am I uh, showing these things to you? We are trying to find our way in eSports. Already you can see the directions, roughly, but this is the point when you have to choose what is going to be, or you have to see which are the horses which will bring a lot of money, which are the horses which will be, which will have to be shut down. Uh, so this is the, uh, the motto I would like to draw your attention to. So this is a decision making point uh, at the moment uh, in eSports. Just a couple of more games. Uh, what's this? No Man's Sky. There was a huge hype around it and when it came out. Uh, however, it didn't live up to the expectations. It was not a successful uh, thing and uh, there was a very huge scandal. The developers uh, said uh, that although there's a scandal and the publisher tells us uh, that it's not successful, uh, we will still do it. Um, this is where software software for service uh, starts. It is a curse as well as a blessing. As an old tired uh, gamer, and now I would like to talk about the curse. I don't know whether you remember Pokemon Crystal version. I was very happy that I could buy it for a very cheap price. I went to a web shop. Uh, I bought it and it's <laughs> and it's uh, empty. The box was empty, and I was shocked. It's like ebooks. You buy something, you have it, you own it, and I bought it and I bought a code. There's a code inside, and what if and it's written there? What if what if I, I will not have a place where I have to download it from? What if this is not the racing course which will win? Two more games, or a couple of more games, and the console. Uh, you can't see it because it has a strange uh, color, Overwatch. I am a huge Overwatch fan, and uh, fan, and uh, I am the only viewer who watches all the matches. So I have to work, and I also have to watch it. It's a huge task. It is a three-year-old game, and um, nowadays the most popular titles are four years old. Uh, of course, FIFA is very old. But what is interesting here is that we got used to the fact that Blizzard does uh, good, makes good games 
and there's a very nice uh, franchise and the structure around it. The second season is on. This uh, Sunday is going to be the finals. So the the application was uh, 30 to 60 million. So it was a huge money. So the business model that they set up, either this is going to be the esport and everything is going to be everything is going to be like this in the future, or this is going to fail and uh, it's going to start a huge recession. Just some more food for thought. Sudden Strike 4 was developed by Hungarians. Uh, it's a card game. And uh, I also participated in it. Uh, with this, uh, we would like to um, have, uh, um, we would like to launch the Hungarian uh, game developing market again because we have good companies, we have good, good people, and uh, this is also something else. Uh, and I would like to close with a uh, quote War has changed. Where is it from? Do you have it? I'm so sorry. War has changed. Natal gives sorry. So this was.